It's me, Mikey Pipes and Peter Pan. We're back. Did you miss us? I know you're hungry and St. Mike will give you nourishment. We're on our way to a no he call in Woodmere, which is part of the five towns on Long Island in Nassau County. They have a steam boiler that's not giving them any heat. So for all you guys who work on steam, you'll know what I encounter because you deal with it yourself. If you're not familiar with steam, it's actually a really great way of heating. You know, you have a, a source, which is the boiler. It boils water, creating steam, which then gets distributed, you know, by piping to radiators and it keeps those radiators nice and toasty for hours upon hours. And back in the days, it was considered a luxury to have steam. But anyway, we're going to a steam boiler. We'll see what's going on. And we'll take some, some video, some recording, because I need to give you nourishment. We gotta feed the people. But before I head over there, I was gonna play this little clip for you that was uh, recorded while we were at our last service call working on a steam radiator. And I swear, they're not gonna get me. They're not gonna get me. Watch this. Yes. All right, so I see here now from Class 6 to 8 months. So you are making your payments on time. Even sometime you try to pay more than your monthly minimum payments, right, sir? Um, I normally pay my balance in full monthly. Normally, I'm typically. Sorry. I know, it's... Banks don't like hearing that, but I hear you. You still with me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, for the qualification purposes, how much you say you owe on all of your credit cards? Oh, like I said, I normally pay my, my balance in full every month. And that's why I think you said you're sorry. I thought you said sorry because the banks don't make money on me. <laughs> you know? All right. Have a good day, sir. Oh, I thought you were going to give me 0% interest. Um, which credit card do you have? I have many. Many bank. You're with Bank of America, right? I'm sorry? Is it, I'm sorry? I said you're with Bank of America, right? Right now, you're receiving this call from interest rate department of Visa Master. Oh, that's not what it said when you guys called me. It said you're calling from Bank of America. No, sir. No? Okay. All right. I have, well, I have Bank of America and Chase right. and Wells Fargo and Signature mm -hmm. and Grand Cayman TV. and TD and Citibank, Citicorp. Wells Fargo. I said Wells Fargo right here. You want to give me 0% interest on which one? On all of your credit cards, sir. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Why would you do that? What's your name? Jack. I'm sorry? Jack. My name is Jack. What is your name, sir? Give me a moment. What's your name? Give me a moment. Give you a moment? I'm asking for your name. You're telling me give me a moment? I was kind enough to give you my name. Your name is Jack, right? Yes. What is your name, sir? Give me a moment. What's your zip code? What's your zip code? I asked you what your name was, and you told me give me a moment. I don't think is that's it, your name. My name is Mark Albert. My name is Mark Albert. Your name is Mark Albert. Hi, Mark yeah. Albert. My name is Jack. Me off. Are you jacking me off right now? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. My zip code is 90210. Nine oh two one oh. Are you wasting my time? No, you you're wasting people's time by scamming them, and you, you, you people giving you their credit card number and then you steal it. <laughs> felt her. <laughs> Want to laugh? I felt her up. <laughs> I felt her up. You guys think I'm bullshitting, right? Hold on. Felt her. <laughs> wow, that is a nice looking Taj Mahal. It's like a mini Taj Mahal. That is beautiful. Wow. Hi. Sorry. My phone is like, I get the spam calls all day long. How are you? Tell me about it. Come in. They're locked up. Okay. How are you? I see you're in a robe. It's a little cold here. A little. What did you do? How'd you break it? That one 
really want to come out. The puppy. Hi, puppy. I'm going to go fix the heat, okay? Yeah. Uh, the thermostat is off? Oh. Okay. So. Hold that. Hold that. What did I do? You're going to tell me that that's the problem? Let's go see if the boiler is on. Well, hold on. It, it may not be, but that thermostat was not on properly. Oh, okay. But we need to warm up your Caribbean blood. Well, sometimes it's that easy. Sometimes it's not. Switch? There's no switch here. We have a transformer dangling right there. Well, that didn't do it. <laughs> sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. We do not have a pilot flame. We have no pilot. Um, Peter, yes. we need... This is the original thermal cup, and I could just tell by looking at it. Wow, someone got creative with the gas tubing there. Um, I need a lighter and I need a thermal couple, but I don't think you're going to find that. Probably not. Probably not. I wish I knew. But as soon as we light the pilot, we can give her, we can warm up her Caribbean. All right. Now, I've been doing this for a while, so I know how this works. I'm going to carefully take this off. All right. Move this out of the way. This is the combustion cover that contains the rollout switch. All right. I'm gonna turn this to pilot. I'm gonna hold down the plunger. And Peter Pan is gonna give me my lighter. Here you go. All right, you're gonna hold that so we can feed the people because they're hungry. Holding down the plunger. Relight the flame. Ooh, look at that, we have a little leak down there. You see that? Uh, yeah. The bottom. Oh yeah. You guys see that? The bottom of the pilot tubing. A little bit of a leak there, no bueno. We're gonna hold this down for approximately a minute, and while I let it go, the magnet that I'm pushing in on the solenoid for the pilot valve will be held by the roughly 30 millivolts from the thermocouple to the gas valve. So, but I still gotta get in there because we have a damaged, that's not tight. See the gas leaking at the bottom of the yeah. pilot burner, that's no good. So, it's been about eh, 40 seconds, I'm gonna let this go. And she went out, so as expected. You know that, that special wrench is for this in the tool bag? No. The tool bag over here. Where is it? Where's it right there? There it is. It's down there instead. Okay. This is a 3 8 and 7 16 open-ended wrench, right? The 3 8 is for the thermal couple and the 7 16 is for the pilot tubing. Okay. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take this off right now. Hold up. I'm gonna, since I have that leak down there, I'm gonna take out everything here. Loosen this up, you see? The 3 8 mm -hmm. did the thermal couple and it'll do both ends of it as well. And then we're gonna flip this around to the 7 16 and loosen that up as well because I need to take the whole burner out because of that leakage at the pilot burner. And just move this out of the way a little bit. There we go. So jiggle it around a little bit like that. Now, let's take some burners out. Ooh, look, we have rust there. Mmm. You know what? That, that's usually no boiler, no good. Usually we have rust there. We have leak. Water leakage. Alright, so now let's move this out of the way again. Now, our leak was right there, right? And look, she's loose. Yeah, it was on the bottom. She's loose like a goose. So let's tighten this up first. Alright. 
much tighter. Now, let's take this out. That goes in the garbage. I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit, mm -hmm. just because I'm a perfectionist. All right. You know where the small black bender is? Um, is it in the black abyss? Yeah. Sure. It looks like Daniel's bender, mm -hmm. but a little bit smaller. Okay. All right, grab that, because I want to get a little creative here. I'm going to show off a little bit. We're going to use this rigid bender and make some nice bends right. here. Well, I think it looks much better than it did before. I agree. Right? It's not perfect, but you know, if, if I wasn't, if I had another nut and ferrule here, I would probably have shortened this down a little bit, but I made the best of what I'm working with. Now, Now we relight re pilot. Mm -hmm. Hold down plunger. And now we have pilot flame. With no, With no leak. We're gonna hold this down for about a minute, let it go. And as long as she's good, I'm gonna put the rest of the burners in. And that's not, that's not kosher. Right there, I don't like that stuff right there. Got a little bit of debris in there too though. But. All right, hopefully she holds and it's not the gas valve. Okay, my pilot is lit. I'm gonna turn this to on. And of course, <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> All right, what else we got going on here? Damper is closed. I don't know if we have a call for heat or not, but I'm just gonna hit that spill switch. <sighs> Pressure trolls is all right, I guess. All right, there's a switch on top of the stairs. Let's, uh, right outside, let's turn that off. Wait a second and turn it back on. Just wanna see if the thermostat relay makes any noise.
You turned it back on? Okay. I heard the power indicator there. Let's go to the thermostat. All right, I want you to turn it to off. Listen for a click, uh -huh. and then turn it back on. Listen for a click. Okay. We may have a bad. No, that's the trans new transformer. We might have a bad something going on over there. Maybe a bad thermostat, really. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. Daniel, sorry. If Peter Pan comes back and saying he didn't hear a click, then we have a thermostat issue. There it is. There's our, our call for for heating. Thermostat relay clicked. Getting 24 volts. Closing the 24 volt circuit from R to W, and then energized the safety circuit, which includes the pressure troll, low water cutoff, automatic vent damper, uh, roll a spill switch, rollout switch and then giving 24 volts to the gas valve. Houston, we got ignition. All right, so maybe I disappointed some people because we have a gas-fired Burnham steam boiler which had no heat, and it's a simple thermocouple replacement, right? Mm -hmm. And since I like to give nourishment, you know, you know, sustenance, let's go over what I see here and what could be done to the system, not necessarily the boiler, to make this, the system more efficient, all right? For starters, let's look at the water heater. The pitch is almost back pitched, but not good. Looks like the plumber left his, his uh, what is this? Oh, steamer tablets. Oh, steamer tablets. I thought it was flux, container of flux, but uh, one of the first things you, that this homeowner can have done immediately to save money is to insulate the two inch steam main. All this two inch. If that is insulated with, oh, you got the uh, one inch copper, sorry, inch and a quarter copper return, very nice. If that is insulated, right, you're not gonna have the heat loss to the level you're having now where what's being heated first is the basement. And all of that latent heat in the steam is being lost by this very cool basement. Mm -hmm. And hence the steam is gonna condense back into vapor, back into liquid, and make its way back to the boil, which then has to be washed, rinsed, and repeated because now it's gotta create the steam again, but, you know, for it to go upstairs. So if she were to have this pipe, this two inch steam main insulated, she's gonna save a bunch of money. She can also save a bunch of money by switching her car insurance to Geico where 15% can save you 15% or more, <laughs> all right? This is all two inch. And this one, other one in the back is relatively small, but it feeds one, two, three, four, four radiators. There's four branches off there, off this two inch, which then goes into an inch and a quarter. And again, she's got a nice copper wet return. Someone put a, a drain valve in there, very nice. All right, and is there one on the opposite side? No, all right. The near boiler piping is okay, is good. We have, this is not a steam coupling though. I would have liked to have seen a steam fitting there. We come up off the top of the boiler. It looks like we have a minimum of 16 inches there, so we're good. We have our first T, our second T, and then it continues on to the equalizer, which then goes here and there's our hard foot loop, which is about, yeah, I would say it's about where it needs to be. Just generally in the middle of the cyclist where that T is. And we have a close nipple right there, perfect. And then picking up the wet return. Overall, it's a very clean installation. I don't know why this transformer is there and why it's still wired into the equation, but nonetheless, not my job. Um, overall, very nice. Nothing's, nothing's wrong with this. It has a pressure troll. We have a low water cutoff. We have an automatic feeder, but there you go. If you have any questions with Steam, check us out on Discord and on WhatsApp. Links in the description box down below. And you can post your questions in our discussion uh, panels and group chats. Or you can email me. Then there's directions on how to reach me down in the description box down below. Also, I'm just, I just recently set up memberships. There'll be more details in future videos. But uh, 
It's through YouTube, and there are different levels of membership. So you can be a homeowner, an apprentice, a technician, or master. So there'll be four levels of monthly memberships, and, and every level has a different um, perk or benefit. Sweet. Right? And as you guys know, I'm very generous. You know, very often we have giveaways, and I give away Brooklyn Nets tickets quite frequently. And you never know, but you got to be in it to win it. All right. Any questions, Peter Paul? Peter Pan? Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's go. It's an old saying. All right. You know the heat is working when you hear the pipes are banging away. Yeah. And of course, now that I'm focusing my attention up. Of course, now that I'm focusing, be very, very quiet while hunting wabbit. <laughs> Of course, now that I'm focusing my attention on this side, but you can hear it there. Yeah. And for further sustenance, because I like to feed, mm -hmm. what you're hearing is not water hammer. It sounds like, at its worst, you know, that someone's taking a hammer or a wrench and smacking these pipes, mm -hmm. right? But what technically you're hearing, do you know what you're hearing? Why, so, how, why, what is, what is occurring that's creating the bang? Is that the water hitting the steam? Ah, or the steam hitting the water. So what you're actually hearing is steam, which is traveling at around 50 miles an hour through this pipe, right? Hits steam, I'm sorry, hits water, which is where it shouldn't be, and then violently explodes. That water violently explodes when it hits, when it's that fast moving steam hits it, mm -hmm. boom. And the question is, well, why is there water where it shouldn't be and there's multiple reasons and multiple answers for that but number one you know right here we are looking at a multiple uh steam tees two by inch and a quarter one inch inch and a quarter inch and a quarter but you're there may be little pockets of water there right that is unfortunately is banging mm -hmm. create, creating that banging and that steam's coming up off this riser right here right and it's the first one Say the steam's going to want to go here first, and then that one, mm -hmm. right? Comes up, boom. Hits any little bit of water, it's where it shouldn't be. It's going to cause that to happen. And at the end, it does look as like it's properly pitched down. And there's our steam main, and it comes down here, and then the condensate makes its way back to the boiler. Mm -hmm. So now that we hear the banging sound, we know that it's getting hot upstairs. And you really don't want to leave until, you know, we warm them up. We warm them up. So, you know... If, Yes, we replace the thermocouple in and out. You know, we could spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes here, but let's confirm everything else is working and that way she can get her money's worth.